Hey guys, 14 Prime here, back with another video review. And today we're looking at the Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015 Warrior Class Drift. Series in his vehicle mode, and seriously, I thought I reviewed him. Did, did something happen? I mean, I, I, I swear I reviewed him. Anyway, here he is in his vehicle mode, and I'm not really going to do any comparisons in this mainly because, you know, I did that in the Takara version of this guy, which I do not have to compare. I do have two things to compare him to. But I'll do that in robot mode. So here he's in the vehicle mode. It's nice. It's all orange and stuff. I do plan on getting repo labels for it. Eventually, whenever, you know, I get around to it. One day. And then the bottom. You know, you can see see the legs and the swords and the back of the head. The hand's pretty well hidden, though. Then you take the swords off and then it's still kind of well hidden. And yeah. And they're both just, you know, black swords. A long sword and a shorter little blade. Which is cool. So, uh, yeah, pretty much, pretty much over the vehicle mode. So now, let's. Oops, I fell off. <laughs> let's get down to transformation. So, first, what you want to do is you want to untab these arms and pull them down, like so. And you want to lift this up. You want to. Yep. Raise the camera and knock something else over. And <laughs> you want to pull these down a little bit. Rotate this around, split the legs, flip these the rest of the way down, and they will tab in. Flip down the feet, and his lower half is done. So now I'm gonna take this flap down, pull out the arms, and here is drift. It, things are just falling today. It, there. In his robot mode, and I do still like this one. I mean, I prefer the Takara one because it's more IDW, but I mean, this one still isn't bad. It's close one to head sculpt. It's, uh, it does fit the character. And I like the voice for my robots in disguise. It really does fit his character, too. I mean, I really understand the hatred for the show. I mean, especially season two, which just came on. Which really, like, there was one episode in season one I did not like. But I mean, other than that, they really weren't that bad. I mean, season two of the first episodes so far have not been too bad. They both been cool. I mean, I, I like like Overload, I think was his name. I could call him Overlord when he first came out. <laughs> anyway, you can, you know, take his swords. And put them in his hands. And have him pose really cool with him. You know, these move to accommodate the leg articulation. So, I mean, you can get a number of poses. Here is just one. You know, you can also even move, bend the feet a bit. Top of these poses, so I mean, yeah. You do an Iron Man. You totally have him do an Iron Man. <laughs> kind of pose. Who, who doesn't like that? Right? I mean, yeah. Marvel. <laughs> uh, I do not have a preference for Marvel or DC. So please do not. Please don't be like, oh, I love, I love DC and this guy likes Marvel. He sucks. <laughs> um, Jeez. Still people in that hatred. No, that's for, that's for another time. Let's let's focus on drift. And you know you can also plug not plug in. You can put his weapons in there. And you know you can even understand how I have the uh, Takara one. But that just doesn't fit him. With, with me, for some reason, he looks more like he should have his swords out, ready to go. Ready to, you know, take down the cons, beat fracture, you know, all the things. Now, we mentioned two comparisons, and it's the, uh, little discs. Uh, Slipstream and Jetstorm. I think that's Jetstorm, not Slipstream, I think. Oh, not Slipstream, that's Jet... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, the only two names on the show I don't remember. I mean, I remember the names, just not who they belong to. But they're between these two. But, uh, yeah. I mean, they do look nice together. I keep these armor pieces on them just because, I don't know. I like even some of the armor pieces on some of them. He doesn't have his swords, so they're like flame swords. I don't know if I'm going to review the disc shooter drift. I might do the, uh, the, uh, the Arctic paint scheme of it. I forgot what it was called. I'm definitely picking up the Arctic paint scheme for this one. Because that's cool. And I like the mold. So, yeah. Pretty much that's all I have to say. So, if you, uh, you would like one of your own, I'm not actually sure if Prime Toys has the, uh, 
regular one, but I know I have the car one, so I'll leave a link in the description to primetoys.net, you can order your, uh, your Takara version of this, not sure if they have the American, but anyway, I think that's about all I have to say, so be sure to check out my channel for video reviews, and please don't forget to subscribe, it's the 14th Prime, signing out.